Oh hey, thank you so much for clicking on this video. As a lot of you know, we've been on a cross-country thrifting trip, but we are back now. So we are, for the first time in a few weeks now, going to go to our home Goodwills and our home Goodwill bins. So stick around for that. But before we get into it, do me a huge favor. Number one, subscribe. Help us get to 15,000 subs. We're gonna do something extra special when we get there. So subscribe, we'll make it worth it for you. Also, before we get going, Join our Discord. We have a public Discord where you can come chat with us and show us your weekly pickups, and it's a good place to be if you want to keep up with what's going on with us, because that's where we, you know, we kind of use that like our Twitter or whatever. So go join that, come hang out with us over there, and then uh, do me one more favor, check out our podcast channel, come hang out with us over there. We've got some live shows coming up on our podcast channel, so if you want to be there for that, subscribe to it. Now, stick around for some awesome thrifting. Come may mate. After several weeks of going to Goodwills on the road that I'm pretty much unfamiliar with, it's kind of nice to be at a Goodwill at home. What do you think? Yeah, it's good to be back. I'm not sure yet if there's anything worth buying, but I'm seeing a lot of things worth looking at. Like, what is that? <laughs> That's awful. And then this must have come out of some cheap Power Rangers costume. I get tempted to buy stuff like this for my Power Rangers collection. Probably not, though. And then, hold on. Look at this. I'm not sure. I think these are Ben 10 toys. I'm not exactly sure, honestly. Uh, but there is a Minecraft Ender Dragon in there, which I'm gonna buy this whole bag just because of that. If these other toys are good, I'll probably put them in my antique mall, but that's what I want. I don't know if this dude is Ninja Turtles. He's got a turtle shell. I think, yeah, he's something Ninja Turtle related. Somebody comment below, tell me. I could go home and look it up, but then what would be the use of you guys? Uh, I didn't realize this until I was walking out the door. This is a transformer. Ah. It's like a bug transformer. <laughs> awesome. It's got a stinger. But yeah, you look real close, you can see the transformer symbol. And then, well, you know now why I bought it. Yeah. He is a little bit broken because his tail's broken, but that's okay because I'm just going to set him on my shelf just like that. I collect Minecraft stuff. And uh, that's the only Ender Dragon I now have. And then that guy. But some good stuff for the Antique Mall One Keeper. Also, look how dirty our windshield is from our trip. This is, this is night bugs driving through Arizona. The whole state. It's a whole collection of bugs. Gross. We'll have to go do something about that for the day's over. Ha -ha -doo -doo -doo. I'll tell you what's got me rushing over to these particular Goodwills is yesterday I left the house without a camera and ran across some heavily restocked Goodwills in this part of town. So I figured we'd turn the cameras on today and come over to the other ones, hoping that they're restocked, but I don't know, we'll see. Someone's already dug through these. As I hope, they're very well stocked, but the real question is are we gonna find anything we need? Uh-oh, did you find anything? No, there's nothing. Nothing? What about this pop? Oh, well, nothing for me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, so you mean there's no Bratz dolls? Exactly, that's all I care about. There's glowing our stars, though. Oh, nice, you wanna put them on our bedroom ceiling? You wanna do what I did when I was a kid? What? Suspend them from fishing line from our ceiling? <laughs> oh, that's, that's a lot of work. It is. Hmm. Isn't that old? Yeah. Rainbow Bright or something? Look at that Gumby. Oh wow. Is that a Xbox Power Supply? Sure it is. Turns out the pop is something from Skyrim. It's only worth five bucks, so not gonna be worth $3.49. That's the problem I had yesterday when I was at a thrift store, didn't have the cameras rolling. Had a bag full of pops, but it was kind of expensive and they were all three to five dollar pops. Now here is a good find in the toy section. It's right here on top of the stuff. These are uh, sometimes, not always, but sometimes valuable. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh playing card match. Just something to fold out, put on the table, and put your cards on. Uh, this one is from the 5Ds era, which means it's a little bit older. And the older they are, kind of, the more chance they have being worth a little bit. So, I mean, for two bucks, I'm going to get it. And if it's worth nothing, I'll just put it in my antique mall. If it's worth a few bucks, maybe we'll put it on eBay or something but it's better than nothing. That makes me a little bit paranoid that there might be more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff tucked 
tucked in here. There's a very board game looking box that these usually came in that are kind of desirable as well. So definitely don't want to miss it. So I'm gonna put my eyeballs on all these boxes. This is gonna be hard to leave behind. Though I think I'm going to because I'm pretty sure I have this gold one. But man, I hate to leave these behind, but nine out of 10 times they are missing an ear. Sorry, Poochie, it's okay. Someone else will get you. So what is this? I think it's like a pencil box. What the heck is going on? Let's go. Is your tail broken? I don't care. I'm buying this one. Makes me want to just buy both of them now. What? What? Checking the men's jeans section to see if there's anything I can use for my custom jeans. There's tons of jeans in here. Like they've got so many just crammed in here. So maybe there's something. Maybe. Some black. Hmm. They're vintage. They're only ten dollars. Usually these are like fifteen to twenty. So maybe I should go ahead and grab these. They're women's cut. Not a bad thing, just different. The thighs are a little bit bigger on them. What I need them for is a half, one leg black, one leg gray pair. So, I think we'll go ahead and grab them. I think they'll work. Ah! It's all right, don't need them on the hanger anyway. After all that fuss, I got the gold one anyways because it turned out with a 20% off coupon, it was actually cheaper to buy it than not. Yeah. Because goodwill. Because coupon. Wow! Last thrift stop. Can't really go to those other ones without going to this one, so let's do it real quick and then we'll find something else to do. I get excited about this one because they've been putting stuff back in a lot of bucks. Holy cow. Three bag of Lego. What the heck? Wait, is that for Game Boy? Oh, it's a hard drive reader. God, that's weird. Okay, so it is a retro gaming console, but you load the games via a hard drive. This just keeps getting better and better. I think I just realized this is for a Raspberry Pi. And you might remember very recently I found one. I found a Raspberry Pi, so I could actually build this out. Check this out. One of my best selling Nerf guns at my antique mall. 649, but it's missing some pieces and I'm pretty sure Hannah just spotted them. But this is actually really good because I have several of them at home without the pieces. So I'll definitely get that and uh, complete one of those. And that'd be a nice, nice sell at our antique mall. That's a hard find piece to find. It's very difficult to find. I found something I kind of been wanting to get one of that doesn't have a price tag on it. Oh, okay. I kind of wanted to bundle a whole Wii into one of these and sell it and see how much we could get. That could be interesting. Yeah, but of course there's no price tag. It's not bad for uh, 150 bucks. You think we can fit this in here? With the Charizard and everything else from our trip? I don't know, it's a little long. Yeah, we'll have to put it up front. Good. How about that? That'll ride. <laughs> I did buy two games, nothing terribly special, but hey, we can put the Hot Wheel game on the Wii stand. I'm kind of excited to go home and set that up. Yeah, be fun. I'm only one call away. And also, now that we're back in town, uh, we got a couple paychecks waiting for us at our antique mall. Also, I thought some of you might be interested to see how wrecked our booths may or may not be after a couple weeks on the road. Deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. Yeah, it's trashed. It's completely trashed. <sighs> Honestly, I kind of expected it not to be too bad. I mean, let's be honest, there's some regular shoppers here that are also kind of fans of the channel and help us out every now and then, but uh, 
This was a bit too long. We've been gone a bit too long. Now the real important part, the trading card stuff. We're out of Pokemon. You can see here a couple packs of football cards have been busted into, but that happens. Uh, we sold quite a few card sleeves, which I put in here right before we left. I think that was on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, at Tindo's Trash. Uh, I, put, I put a little thrifting content on there once a week or so, and I did a bunch of restocking on my Instagram a little while back. Someone destroyed us, man. If you have been watching regularly though, you're gonna notice that we're getting a little bare. Uh, we have been selling a lot at this booth. This booth this last month, month and a half, has been by far our best performer, so. Toys, toys are still killing it for us. I just gotta get some more in here. I mean, let's be honest, a lot of the reasons this booth is killing it is the Pokemon stuff. I'd say it's 60% Pokemon trading card stuff, 40% toys plush, everything else. Strangely enough for this booth, can't sell many Nerf guns here. I think the people that wanted some have them and don't need any more and have bought them all from me, but I have been moving them out and moving them to a different booth way across town where they've been doing much better. But I'm gonna change this space from Nerf gun to something else. I've got some ideas, uh, but I'd love to hear yours. If you got some ideas for this space here, comment it below. What can we do with it? Let's go check on Hannah, see if her booth was equally destroyed or not. Scale of one to ten, how destroyed was your booth? Twenty million. Really? It was bad. Well, it sucks we didn't get a shot of it before, because <laughs> mine was like everything was on the floor. Mine was embarrassing. I was like, this needs to be fixed now. Yeah. It happens. What the heck happened here? Broken hanger. Oh, it's baby! It's baby! It's baby! And I don't know. I guess we might as well go to the bins, huh? Why not? Let's go. Oh, baby, it's the first find. And I got a whole bin of toys for myself. I found some super cool stuff. I just picked these up. Beautiful red color. Vintage Lee Riders. Super pumped about that. These are interesting too. They have this Two Pepper brand. Never heard of it, but I figured Antique Mall would be just fine. Just <laughs> flinging my braids around everywhere. I gotta get to the bottom of this one. I don't know what he is. Oh no. It's broken. Oh, that sucks. I think I might be insane, but I think I also have to have it. I think I have to wear it while I sew. Mm. 
No way. Look at this piece of ancient history. That is a wood handled golf club, leather wrapped grip, broken, probably iron. Putter, it's a putter. Uh, my older brother collects wooden golf clubs from this era, and I have not been able to find him one in probably six plus months. I normally go home with two or three for him. This one's going to the collection, baby. You're welcome. Marshmallow mask, empty film negative hands, nice Beyblade. Baby. Now that's busted, but I can tell it's heavy enough. It's got its battery in it, so that's good for spare parts. All right. Now, let's see if we can get all this in the smart car. It's about as much as we bought while we were on the road. Uh, I will say, it's pretty much impossible for us to thrift in Phoenix now without people recognizing who we are. There's about three different people today, and uh, you know, no big deal, not complaining. It's just, it, it's still. It's still a big adjustment. We're two years into this. We're probably a year and a half since the first time someone recognized us. And it's still just like, you know, it's kind of like, what do I do? I, I, some people are excited to see us and that's cool. So like, I try to, you know, I try to be open to it, but I'm still just like, what do I do with my hands? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can just also tell people are like, they're giants. <laughs> well, the first person came up and said, I saw you first because you're a mountain, so. Oh, me? Yeah. I was like, he called you a mountain? He called you a <laughs> mountain. I'll fight him. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm a mountain, what does that make you? A molehill. <laughs> Lol. But it's... What is a mountain, 2,000 feet? Mm, I don't know. Get it all in there. I'm excited about that TV. Uh, we've been selling those at our antique mall for like a hundred bucks a pop. Because our token, I didn't mean to buy this, but they're so cool. Put they, it on. Pride socks, but I only found one. Put it on. That is the longest sock I've ever seen. I wish I found both of them. Ditly hot. <laughs> oh, it's really big. Uh oh, really? Yeah. Well, I guess it's got to be. Oh. Where's the top? <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna go all the way up to your shorts. Oh. Do I look like a grandpa in the 80s? I'm not sure what you look like. A mountain socks on, I guess. <laughs> That's oh, awesome. Oh no. My thighs are too big. It's squeezing you. <laughs> <laughs> That's not attractive. That's awesome. Those are I, dope, though. And honestly, when you held it in your hand, it looked like it was gonna be way longer. I'm impressed it got that. It's probably because my legs are bigger than the average user. Okay. <laughs> So you're saying those are skinny socks. They are. Look at my side. Can't you tell? All right. We're back home and we're going to talk about some of the stuff that we got and I'm excited to show you some of it. Uh, CRT combo works as you see. Uh, very excited about that. But before we get into all that, we've got a couple packages from you guys that you sent to our PO box. We're going to rip them open, have a little Christmas real quick. A uh, quick note before we do though, we were gone on our trip for a little while and I've had one person message me that... They had a package returned to them. I've only heard it from one person, so hopefully it's not like we got a bunch of packages and the post office sent them back. We were under the impression we had two weeks between packages getting put in and going and getting them, and we were only gone like 12 days, yeah. so it shouldn't have happened. So maybe it was just one person and one weird misunderstanding, but if you're watching and you've sent us something and we're not opening it anytime soon, maybe expect it back. I don't know. So you, can't take, you can't take vacations, apparently. <laughs> Uh, all right, so let's rip this open. This is from DJ in Pennsylvania, so let's, uh, let's just rip into it. It's got a sticker on it, too, that says Button Wolf. Is that a hint of what's inside? That sounds kind of buttony. All right, uh, there are instructions open here. Okay, I think I'm just going to dump it out. Dump it. Whoa! 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 Okay, there's nothing else inside. Uh, there is a note. Uh, hi, guys. 
found your channel a few months back and it really helped me get through a weird funk I was in, started thrifting again and came across a few things you might like. Also made some buttons for you guys as a thank you for making great content. Wish you the best. Uh, at Buttonwolf, I assume, on Instagram. That's awesome. Oh my god! You recognize that dice? Yeah, I do actually. <laughs> I have, I have four or five of them over here. Uh, that's what we use to play Pokemon. That's awesome. So now we have another yellow one, which is perfect because now I've got a set of three. Mm. That's awesome. Does anybody know what those came out of originally? DJ, do you know? And you made these buttons, huh? Oh my god! I'm gonna stand up with them real quick. Button wolf. Oh, wow. I'll put that sticker on my case. What did you get? Oh! You're perfect. That's awesome. I don't know if my face has ever been on a button. This is like this is like community art. <laughs> because someone drew that, yeah. like it sketched it, and I took the sketch and made an image of it and put a yellow background on it, and this person made a button of it. <laughs> That's wild. Okay, well, there's me on a button. What else? We've got the Amish butter print. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, well, there's Amish butter print. Aww. from Was that from Pyrex? Yeah. As well as our Shark Tindo logo and I a Bratz to, button. I need to find somewhere to put that. That's awesome. A little Tindo logo. A whole bunch of Tindo logos and a Rubik's Cube. Those are awesome. I'll be putting some of those on my Jansport backpacks. And there's also a little Goku. That's awesome. Okay. Do you have any idea what this is? They're book covers. That's so awesome. All right, so I do collect Power Ranger stuff. You, you're you not going to quite see it, but right over one of my shoulders here is a shelf full of Power Ranger stuff. But how do I put this on display? This is so awesome. It well, almost... Whenever you... I wonder if it'll cover a binder. You could, like, cover your oh, Power Ranger binder with my it. My Power Ranger binder for my Power Ranger That'd cards. That'd be awesome. Okay. A Christmas Power Rangers VHS, which I don't think I have. Well, what am I doing? Let's let's uh, <laughs> let's do this the right way. Get out of here, Yu-Gi-Oh. What's uh? It's like halfway through too, so let's watch the last half. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, that should work. Okay. And there's also a DVD. Do you know what that is? I Power know. Stone. I never, never watched that. Uh, ooh, these are <laughs> these are like Dragon Ball Z snapshots printed on UPS stickers. <laughs> That's funny. That's great. What? Pojo's total digit. Okay, I have some Yu-Gi-Oh Pojos, but no Digimon. That's awesome. It's about the cards from back in the day. Well, thank you so much for that. Uh, I'm very excited about those buttons. Those are beautiful. Especially the Amish butter print, because no one else on Earth has that. Okay. <laughs> no uh, one would know what that is. This one is from Canada. It is from Victoria. And I'll tell you what, this one has a good sound. Okay. It doesn't sound like cards. That's the only, no <laughs> the only noise I know to listen to. Her. <laughs> there's just a, there's a hot, there's a tinniness to it. I don't know. That's what you usually say when there's cards in it. No, that's not the same. Okay. There is a note. Ooh. And some cardboard to protect from the scissors. Uh, hi, Tindo and Hannah. My friend at work told me about your YouTube channel a month ago, and I am in love. We decided to treat you with some nonsense and things you like that we found while thrifting. Hope you enjoy unboxing them. Keep up your uh, wonderful work and never stop doing what you love. Uh, those are some interesting names. Can you read those? I don't want to butcher them. Vivek? Vic. Vic. <laughs> Um, oh, that, please, please, too. please comment below and uh, tell us how to pronounce pronounce these. But I'm thinking it says Vic Vic. Oh, okay, Vic Vic and Daisy. That's that's a good one. Well, thank you for the note. Thank you so much for including the note and forgive us for being illiterate. Okay, <laughs> do you want us to peek first or them to peek first? Um, them. Okay, look away. We do this for the viewers. What is it? I don't know. It's bubble wrap. Oh, Ooh, it's Brad Stalls. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right. Run us through what these are real quick. Oh, well, first of all. Well, there's a bag of shoes. <gasps> okay. Okay. <gasps> this has my name on it. Tell us what it is. You know what this is? 
No, I don't. You're so, making a face, though. So you remember that breast doll that someone so lovingly sent us, and it was covered in permanent marker, and I told you she was absolutely 100% complete, except for she has permanent marker on her face? Right. This is her! Okay, so you, you've got that doll already. It's just root. It is, and I couldn't get the permanent marker off, but I was still determined to keep her anyway. Um, but now I have well, one without permanent marker. What's special about it? Just something you've she, always wanted? Yeah, she is the Jade Winter Wonderland. Look, you're going to um, lose your mind. Look at all these. Holy this God, is all Brad's clothes. What? You're going to be able to fill a real luggage suitcase oh with gosh. brass clothes. Probably. I'm very excited. I want to get like a, a vintage suitcase and fill it with brass shoes. What is this? Look, brats reversible pillowcase. Yes, please. That's funny. Bejeweled. Oh, look. Qbert on PlayStation nice. 1. Nice. More brat. Oh I, I didn't even get all the brats stuff. <gasps> There's some really good shoes in here. All These right. are the slumber party shoes. There's some stickers. That's awesome. I think what's going on here is they put... Some brat stuff in there for you, and my special thing is in here. Are you ready? Yes. What's what's in your special thing? Oh, no, my no. goodness. Oh, Pogs. Whoa. Make sure that's all of it. Sweet. Well, that's going on the Pog shelf. These are, like, not even stamped out. Look, Phil, Phil how heavy that is. Oh. They're all. They're that's all, some slammers. They're all slammers. These are so cool. You guys are going to have to comment below some suggestions on how to display my Pog collection because they're sitting back here on a shelf. They're, they're hidden by those clothes, but like, I can't I can't make them look pretty on my shelf. These are all Pogs, too. Are these all Pogs? Yeah. Here? And they're all from McDonald's. That's so awesome. I've never seen these. Well, you know, there are some Power Ranger Pogs. They, well, they're not branded Pogs, but they came in the trading cards. But these are actually Power Ranger branded Pogs. You see the top right-hand corner, the Pog symbol? Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you guys so much for that. Y'all nailed um, it. And sorry it took us so long to get those packages. They've been sitting here since before our trip. But And thank you for including the notes. Now, let's, uh, let's set all this aside, and let's talk about what we got at the thrift. Hannah, grab our big bag. I'm going to talk a little bit about this TV our camera's zoomed in, but on these shelves behind me, I have a VCR combo and a DVD combo. And I bought those for my game room, but I kept finding them after I bought mine and put them in our antique mall. And listen, sometimes this stuff is good on eBay. Obviously, it'd be terrible to ship, but people always want to know if they're worth buying. If you ever find them with the VCR or with the remote, maybe buy them. Uh, but otherwise, I buy them and sell them because I have an antique mall. And they just, they go, I put a bunch of anime and other D VHS in there and people buy them all at once. <sighs> I've never sold these cheap plastic figures in my antique mall because like you get these at Walmart for like six bucks. So why, yeah. what am I going to get out of them? But <sighs> I'm going to, I'm going to start putting a few in my antique mall just still for five or six bucks. And I bet people will buy them. Yeah. Uh, but I just, I need more action figures. All right. Show us some stuff that you got from the thrift real quick. What it, so I got a bunch of like 90s vintage denim and such, um, some t-shirts. This was the most interesting thing okay. that I got. Um, this is apparently a high-end brand. So I saw this corset. Corsets, I don't even know how to show this off. It's a very <laughs> weird thing, but the price tag on it is still on it, and it says $862 And originally. she's not lying about this. Look at the price tag on that. And I was what? like, excuse me? Well, what do you do? <laughs> what do you do when you're at the Goodwill bins where everything's trash and price tags say something like that? You buy it. You buy it. And then it. you figure out what it's actually worth. To resell what do you it. estimate it's actually worth? Well, I was looking up comps on eBay, and I think you could probably get about a hundred bucks out of it, which is not bad considering I bought it for a dollar fifty. So, <laughs> sure. Um, the rest of this is a lot of really funky denim stuff, which I was really excited about. But um, my most favorite thing I got was actually the sweater that I'm wearing. Let's see it. Stand up. Give uh, us a model. What is on it? It's like. It's like a cityscape. cityscape. Yeah, it's like a night cityscape. You need to wear that for our podcast. Cause, <laughs> uh, check out our podcast, but like that's the background for all of the imagery from our podcast. Okay, I didn't get anything crazy. Just antique mall stuff. I'll make a good little bit of money out of stuff here. Comment below if you think this is a good idea. But I've been thinking about doing a rainbow one of these. Every That'd single little piece everywhere on the dog, a different color. That'd be fun. I bought a couple games. You know. It was a good day. It was a perfectly fine day. But uh, nothing to me was more exciting whatsoever than this golf club. Yeah. That cat is running around playing <laughs> with all the packaging. Wild. Um, 
I don't know what to say. I just, listen, we do a lot of collecting here on this channel. A lot of people goof on us and they're like, oh, I collect this now because of you. <laughs> I get that. But I like helping people collect as much as I like collecting myself. And my older brother is super ecstatic about this one. Uh, we agree. It's definitely the coolest one I've found him so far. Um, I don't have a lot of information to give you, tips for selling, buying, selling golf clubs, but I do know if you do find these old wooden early 1900s, even pre-1900s golf clubs, you're definitely going to want to either just look them up or buy them for the golf people you know because, you know, it's just a neat thing that go golf people like to collect. And there's the odd old wooden golf club that's worth hundreds. I think in the condition this one's in, this would be an easy 50 to 75 bucks on eBay. Yeah. It's pretty crunchy, but I did see this same one. See how it's broken there? I did see this same one on eBay for in really good condition for like a hundred or two. So nice, yeah. But uh, that's not that's not anywhere near. Even if this were in good shape, I told my brother, I was like, it's not anywhere near worth enough for it to not be worth way more in your collection. Cause yeah, like, if you're collecting wooden golf clubs, you gotta have a putter from. The, what's the date on it? March 24th, 1903. Tell me that's not crazy. That is so wild. Yeah, so I feel like I found an heirloom or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's your favorite thing you got? Sweater? My sweater. S sweater golf earlier, club. Earlier, until my entire box of rat stalls oh, showed uh, yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm really <laughs> excited about those Power Ranger pogs, but that's yes. another thing. Comment below. Do I open them? Do I leave them in there? Maybe mm, half and half? Maybe. Get some enjoyment, but Maybe also keep some. one for display and then open the rest. I don't know. Comment below. What do we do? Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We really do appreciate it. Um, hit the subscribe button, pretty please. Help us keep our momentum. We're trying to get up there to 15,000 subs, and we can't do it without you. Also, go check out this girl's channel. She's posting weekly content over there also. It's awesome. Check out our podcast channel. We do a weekly podcast talking about all this crazy stuff that we go do and that we do collect. Uh, also, before we get out of here, huge favor, just, uh, you know, have a good week until the next time we see you. And until then, peace out. Yeah,